Hello little friends. Today I am doing a review and a demo on the NYX Wonder Stick. This is a cream contouring stick that is fairly new. Um, it retails at Ulta where I bought it for $11.99 and there are several different shades. Um, there is a light, medium, deep, and a universal shade. So I picked up the universal stick because I thought that the contour shade looked the most um, realistic grayish shadow color and the highlight end of this does have a shimmer to it and I do like shimmer in my highlights so I picked up universal but just know that there is a light medium and deep option as well so I will show you what the universal shades look like when swatched so the universal contour looks a lot warmer than I thought it would on. I was a little bit scared when I swatched this because it looks too much like the uh, Tarte Slenderizer, which was a contour stick um, put out earlier this year, and it's so, so warm that I think, why on earth would you contour with that? So this looked a little, little warmer than I would like, and then the cream highlight portion is not nearly as um, shimmery as I thought it would be. It's really subtle shimmer, so that was nice to see. It wasn't super glittery or anything. You want to see color, you have to swipe quite a bit to get some color payoff with it. Um, that being said, I do like these colors a lot better on than I did um, from the initial swatching. So I wanted to compare to another cream contour stick that I've reviewed before, which is the Sonia Kashuk Chic Defining Contour Stick. So I've swatched that here for you. It's definitely a much richer contour um, with a much greater color payoff. And then this is the NYX Wonder Stick in the Universal shade. And not only is it lighter, um, you have to swipe quite a bit to get that level of color payoff. And that is nice actually when you're applying it so you don't overdo it. Um, when blended out, I mean, I think that this is a hint cooler than this. This definitely looks very bronzy and this is a little more forgiving so i think it's a lot easier to start cream contouring with something like that because you're not going to get a huge swipe of you know orangey bronze on your face um i do um think that the cream highlight is fairly similar to the benefit watts up so i will grab that now and compare it on the other hand for you here I have Benefit's Watts Up. It's definitely much more of a champagne color. Um, on camera it even looks a little bit peachy. This is the highlight end of the NYX Wonder Stick, which is a lot more of a very, very pale, I wanted to say gold, but it's really not even all that gold. Um, so it's much, much lighter and it is less shimmery. So I think you're seeing a lot more reflection with the watts up here. So if you don't want a really, really shimmery highlight, you would probably feel comfortable with the NYX Wonder Stick because it's, it's not super shimmery by any means. So it comes in this double-ended format. So you twist out the product you want to use. They each have their own caps. I like that a lot because you don't have to be you know, keeping track of two different products. Um, you know, it's very handy, just one stick here. The only thing I will say, and this is just, you know, me being stupid, but you know, make sure you wind them all the way down before you put their cap back on. For some reason, I thought that they came like, like this. So I was like putting the cap on and totally smashing the, the stick's head. So just wind them all the way down before you put their caps on. So as far as the formula itself, I don't think it's extremely like creamy and emollient. However, it does blend out well and you'll see that in the demo. Um, I think that it doesn't have amazing color payoff and I, me being very pale, I didn't have too much trouble with it in the universal stick, but if you were darker than me, you'd probably be frustrated with how subtle this is. Um, and I also have read some reviews where the deep shade, which is the darkest they make, is still not dark enough for many people. So that's disappointing to know. Um, the highlight end is shimmery in this and it it is much more of a shimmer highlight. It is not a concealer by any means and it's not going to give you coverage. So I would not take this and go to town on your under eye circles because it's just not gonna do that for you. Um, in that instance, you would be better off using a cream concealer first, which is what I did, um, and then just using this highlight as a really subtle, you know, very top of the cheekbones, kind of where I 
do in the demo. You'll see the contour first. So I'm going to use this side and I have the universal stick. So this is the contour shade that it gives you. And I'm just going to place it in the areas I would normally contour with a powder or other cream contour. I like that it doesn't apply too much product on your first swipe. So you're not going to get as out of control with it as like the Sonia Kashuk um, Chic Defining Contour Stick. I've reviewed that before and you get a lot of product that comes out. Plus the size of this is a really good size for getting under cheekbones, you know, even on your nose. Okay, so I've got my contour placed um, and I look like a cool robot. So I'm going to blend it out first before I apply the highlighter. So this is me grabbing a brush. Um, I'm going to blend that out with um, a stippling brush and this has a good amount of flex to it. So um, you might actually need to pinch it a little bit right here. So these do blend out pretty well. I do think if you wait too long, you might have some trouble blending them. So you might want to just get in there right away. I will say based on how they feel when you are applying them from the stick, I didn't think they would blend out this well actually. They aren't super emollient or creamy necessarily. Um, but that being said, as you can see, they are blending out quite nicely. I feel like when you first apply these, they look more warm in tone, but once you blend them, they don't look as warm. Um, so for blending smaller areas out like the nose, I'm just going to use a littler brush for that. I don't want this contour to overwhelm my nose and make it look like my entire nose is dirty. So this is just a double sided brush from Borghese and I'm just going to really lightly soften out the nose contour, staying on the outside edge of it. is blend out time to apply the highlight end so on the universal stick the highlighting end is a shimmery highlight so I'm not going to do the whole under eye triangle because I already have some under eye concealer on and I don't want it to get too shimmery but I am going to especially concentrate on the bridge of my nose tops of the cheekbones Cupid's bow. I have lipstick on, so that one was kind of awkward. A little bit on the chin. And a little bit more here. This is a really nice subtle um, cream highlight. It it's like a not as not as good of a version um, of the Benefit What's Up. That applies better, I feel, but this is a very similar type of product. All right, so for blending out the highlight, I'm going to use a brush, but a little smaller. I'm kind of just going to pat because I don't want to spread it around too much and it's pretty subtle, so I don't want to dull it down by muddying it with any other colors. I don't agree with them saying universal because as you can tell, this is a pretty light highlight color so universal, that is the wrong word. You know, a darker skinned person would absolutely find this to be too frosty on them and too pale. So with our cream contour and cream highlights blended out, I am going to now apply blush and set it all with powder. I'm going to use a cream blush just because we're, you know, in the 
in the cream theme of things. <laughs> so I'm just using a NYX Rouge Cream Blush. This is the color called Hot Pink. I really like these. If you want a cream blush, this one's really affordable and they're not too sticky and they blend really nice. So I just like to pat on with my finger where I want it and then use a different finger to blend it out softly. Um, it's pretty natural contour look for sure. I don't think I've changed the shape of my face dramatically by any means. I noticed on the packaging we have the fabulous Vegas Nay. Um, if you don't know Vegas Nay, then you're probably not on Instagram because she's huge on Instagram. One of the nicest makeup artists in the Instagram community for sure. Um, her uh, handle on Instagram is at Vegas underscore Nay, N-A-Y. Anyways, she is on the NYX packaging, so that's exciting to see her face on there, but it looks like she's done it a lot more dramatically, so like her highlight areas like are way more than what I did. Um, the contour areas aren't super dramatic, but she's definitely placing the highlighter on a much greater plane of her face. I did not do that with the Universal Stick because they said it is shimmery. So the other colors though, there's a light, medium, deep, and then Universal, which is what I have. They have a highlight on them that is a matte highlight, so it doesn't have the shimmer. So in that instance, you probably would be able to do the bigger, you know, under eye highlight, a little bit more up here on the forehead. So, you know, overall, if I were to give this product a grade, I would probably give it a, let's see here, I'd give it a B minus. Um, I usually judge a product by, do I like this enough to use it on myself? then I like it, you know? But if I love a product, I love it so much that I want to start, you know, using it in my kit on clients because I think it's that good. It can stand up to professional makeup application and photography. Um, I would use this on myself, mainly for very subtle, everyday um, contouring or for travel because it is a nice double-ended stick. Would I love it enough to use it on clients? No, I do think there are better cream contour products out there. Um, however, I don't think this looks bad. I think this is a nice, subtle, everyday look and for $11.99, especially if you're kind of just wanting to experiment with cream contouring, you don't want to get too into it and you're not a makeup artist, um, this would be a good buy for you. I just think that you should um, try the shades out extensively before you grab one. This was a total imp impulse purchase and now that I think about it, I actually bought this at Target, not Ulta, and I bought it late at night and I like wasn't I just like grabbed it because I think it was the like the last one. I was like, oh, the Wonder Stick, they have it. Oh, they have Universal. That's the shade I think I want. So I just grabbed it, but I think I might have done better with a different shade. So thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for spending your time with me. I look forward to seeing you in my next video. And now I am going to finish my coffee. Bye. My husband's nice and he brought me a coffee. This is the flat white from Starbucks. Have you guys had that? If you're like a true coffee drinker and you don't like, you know, really sweet drinks, the flat white is so good. And it's good because it has a whole milk. So, you know, it should be called the fat white because <laughs> that's what I'm getting when I get this every time.